Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another blast in the past for you guys. This week we're going to be bringing out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. This palette is not available at Sephora and Ulta, however, you can still find this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for 20 bucks. This palette has really been on my mind and I really wanted to dig back into it. So this is the look that I created. I think it's very, very wearable. It was so easy to create. And I know some people had a little bit of trouble with the Anastasia Subculture Palette. So I wanted to create a look that was not going to be very detailed, something that actually pretty much anybody can recreate. And that is what I have achieved in this video. So before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm going to have those linked down below as well. So if you want to see how I created this look with this palette, then just keep watching. Alright, so starting off this look, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Going in with a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade Dawn and put this all over my lid to set the primer. Now I'm going to take the shade Roxy on another fluffy brush and put this high above my crease. Now using another fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade All Star and I'm going to put this on the outer corner and in the crease as well. You can take your time to build up this color. Now I'm going to go back in with Roxy and blend that out in the crease. For my lid color, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and use the shade Adorn. Now I did use some MAC Fix Plus to make this a little bit more vibrant.
guys so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and I'm going to do my foundation and my eyebrows maybe even my eyeliner and eyelashes depending on how I feel and I'll be right back okay so I am back I was all set to do lashes but you know I decided I'm just gonna skip it tonight it is kind of late and I really just want to keep this look kind of simple so um, I did go ahead and apply my eyeliner which I use the Too Faced Sketch Marker, and this is in the shade Deep Espresso. This is one of my favorite brown eyeliners, you guys. Like, love it. So, let's jump back in, starting with our lower lash line, and we're going to start with the shade Roxy.
Alright guys, so this is it for the completed look. I really, really like how this turned out. This lipstick actually tied this look together a lot better than I thought it would. It's really, really pretty. And you know what? This is a very wearable eye look, especially using the Slope Culture palette. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye!